I'm Rick Johansson, and this is the Iron Echo Design Channel. Today, we're gonna to go over how to fill text with an image, any image you choose using Inkscape. So for my examples, it's, it's seven degrees Fahrenheit tonight in the Boston area. So for my examples, I used lava and then the sun. Let us begin. So choose the Create and Edit Text Objects, and I've got it set to Arial Heavy. It's a pretty common font, but you can use any font that's thick so we can capture more of the image behind it. And let's go with beach, just to keep it on the theme. In my opinion, the effect actually looks cooler if you have the letters spaced a little bit more tightly together. So if you go, make sure you have your edit text object selected. Up here is character spacing. And just to show you how it works, if you haven't tried it before, let's say you wanna expand it, we'll try 25. It kind of pushes it apart, but in this case, we want to bring it closer together. So let's bring it back to zero just so we can have a reference point. And then you can go negative on the current. Let's go negative 15. And that pulls it in close. If you see how the E and the A got a little too close, let's zoom in. If you do control and scroll forward, it'll, it'll pull the uh, zoom in for you. You can do, there's a shortcut. If you click, if you hold alt and then use the arrow key, like the actual left or right arrow, you can space out just that part between those two characters. I'm showing you this part because beyond the most basic way, I wanna add an outline to show you like the next level to it. So let's zoom out and go to our beach. Maybe it's a little bit on the nose, but it's gonna keep us feeling more warm. So here we go. This is the text. You can kind of find where you like it to be. I'm gonna put it in the, in the waves. You can put it in the sand if you, whoops, you can put it in the sand if you prefer. You can put it in the ocean, anywhere you want. For this, I'm going into, I wanna have some contrast on it. I will put a link to this stock image. It's from Pexels in the description below. And we're ready to actually make the effect. Before we do it though, Click on your text and push Control D. That's just to duplicate it and then pull one of them over to the side. That's for the, the next level to it. But for now, go back to your beautiful ocean with your text, click on the text, shift, click on the ocean, and then object, clip, set. And you've got some image-based text looking just beautiful. Are we done? You can be if this is what you came for, but I wanna show you the next level to it. Let's put this one aside. We'll duplicate this one. So Control D, and then I'm gonna show you the two different levels, maybe three levels if we have time. And let's put these next to each other. So what we're gonna do now is I wanna make a layer. See how there's like a nice border? To make it, you have to have it in two separate parts, or at least this is the way that I do it. And this one you have to turn into a path, stroke to path and that allows you to play with it a little bit more. If you take this text and just try to make it larger so it slides beneath this cool graphic, it doesn't actually line up perfectly. So instead, uh, click off, click on it, and then go to Path, Path Effects. And then down here is the plus, which means we, we wanna add a path effect. And then this is kind of the, this is the power of Inkscape. This is a lot of cool things you can do with it. We just want the one that says Offset. So click on that and then make sure you have your text that you want to affect highlighted. And then over here, offset, if you watch what happens when I raise it up, see how it makes it bigger or can go back smaller. And that is working on, it's, it's actually a dynamic offset that just perfectly expands it so we, we can make a nice perfect border. Once you have it looking the way you want, then we can put it together and it looks good with the black as the, as the base. And if that works for your application, go for it. I'm gonna actually bring the reference photo back in. So let's zoom out. I'll bring my Pexels Beach. Here it is. And I'm take, I'll take some of the sand from my color. So click on the under layer, go to your fill and stroke. It's up here again, the paintbrush in the corner. Choose the fill, you can get your dropper. And I'm gonna to try to pick something in the sand, maybe that right there. And then there you go. So you can see that's the offset we did. Now I don't want that line. So you wanna click on stroke and then get in the X, so get rid of it. And then, oh, I can tell it's gonna look nice. Put it together. Inkscape knows how to click it in, make it perfect. And look at that, let's zoom out. That This is a lot better than seven degrees Fahrenheit. Just beautiful. All right, click in the middle of nowhere, grab a rectangle around it and then object group, 
and that puts it together so I can move it around and then control D to make a duplicate because we're collecting our different versions. You have over here the just, just the image in the text, then with the border. And let's bring this thing home with some old school drop shadow. So click your item, go to filters, shadows and glows, drop shadow. And you'll wanna make sure you have live preview clicked. And then I like the blur radius. In this case, I have it um, well below one at 0.5. And then horizontal offset, it's 2.4. I can go a little, a little less than that, maybe 1 point, 1 1.7. And then vertical offset, 1.7. I'll go with that. Apply, close, and let's put these in the background so you can see. Here's the first version. If you just stamp out the graphic onto your text, here's the second with the border. And then finally, the full effect, if this is what you're looking for, beach. You can tell what is on my mind. And if I can't get to a warmer climate, at least I can fill text with an image in Inkscape with you.